Hello everyone, welcome back to my playthrough of Tales of Grace's F. Like, comment, and subscribe. Now, let's head back to the Seaside Cavern, which we have not been to in a very long time. I think... Let's see, which way is the best route? I think, no, no. Over here. Over here would be the quickest route, I think. Let's get down here. Do, do, do. Over here. Here. Hello, shiny. Okay. Oh, this doesn't lead to it. My bad. <laughs> Over here, maybe? Yeah, this leads to it. Okay, so we're now in here. Now we just need to find our location. Let's see, it should be that here. Jump through the water right here. Okay, over here. Let's get this save point. Let's get this get going. Here we go. Good. It looks like she's finally asleep. <laughs> Do you remember the last time the three of us came here? I didn't want to believe that strange girl was really Sophie. You were so sure. And I was convinced you were just trying to flee from the reality of what had actually happened. That's harsh, but also true. Hey, Asbel, let me help you. I'll carry Sophie this time around. Are you sure? She looks tiny, but she's actually pretty heavy. Don't worry, I can do it. One, two... Three, oh, <laughs> Ish. wow, she is a lot heavier than she looks. I told you, right? Here, let me take her. No, I said I'll do it, and I just, I want to be close to her right now. Oh, okay. Anyway, there should be some for a fake wall ramp. Why did I not notice this before? I wonder if you could have noticed this before a long time ago. Anyway, let's go in here. Let's see, here we are. Oh, yeah, this is MRC and stuff. This was here all this time. This ship will take us to Fodra? I can't imagine how it would even fly. Oh, so that's it. Can you make it work? Hold on, I'm getting there. It's working. Oh, that's nothing. We're just getting started here. Yeah, with another techo babble. Let me see. So if the shuttle actually works, we're gonna need... Wow, okay. We've got two zappy heat ray cannons. One in Strata and one in Fendel. Wait a second, this can control cannons that far away? simultaneously and focus on a single point in the aquasphere. Oh man, this is crazy cool! How can we use the cannons if they're in two separate countries? My point exactly in my head. I think we can control them from here. Looks like we can adjust the angles and everything. How does that work? Please don't tell me you activate self-destruct. Is something wrong? Well, the cannon in Strata is fine, but the one in Fendel is busted or something. Oh, so we have to go back to Fendel. Okay, at least it's not self-destruct. Of course it is. Yeah, it's not responding. I'm gonna have to go there and see if I can figure it out. But then... Assuming everything else works, 
The shuttle is piloted remotely, so we need someone to stay here and fly it. Is that something one of us can do? Maybe me, but... Yeah, I don't know. You need real technical know-how to pull it off. I'd ask my sister, but I don't think she's talking to me right now. Anyway, we can worry about that later. I'll ask the Overseer or something if it comes to it. Right now, we should focus on getting to Fendel so I can fix the cannon. It's in a facility on the far side of Fendel Mountain Pass, up near Velenik. Uh, okay. Right, let's get moving. Okay, you heard her. That's our next destination, apparently. But there is still some other parts here. First, get to the save point, because there is actually going to be a skit there. So let's get there. Do, do, do. from Poisson. Let's see here. Oh, yuck. She says the monsters from that cocoon are causing all kinds of trouble. Of course they are. They've ordered all civilian ships to stop sailing into or out of Fendel. Sounds like we'd better hurry. Right. Let me just do a little tap a tap a ka chunk here. You okay. Bon voyage! What was that? Richard's monsters, I imagine. They were headed toward Lant. Oh dear. No! We should get to Lant immediately. They'll need our help. Come on, let's move! Well, first, before that, we have a skit to do. So let's get that skit going. Come on, let's hurry back to Lant. Calm down. When you get excited like this, you lose sight of everything around you. You need to analyze the situation rationally. Yeah, but that's why you're here, Hubert. Analyzing situations is your job. You know that's not me. If there's something I have a chance of protecting, I'll do whatever I can to make sure it's safe. That's what Sophie taught me. I see. Then perhaps I should stop holding back. Well enough then. If I ever see you slacking off in this department, I will let you know in no uncertain terms. Good. I'm counting on it, Hubert. Okay, that was nice. Anyway, let's start heading for Launt. I'll actually need you a lot closer at Launt because it's going to take me a while to get there. So, let's get... Going in all oh, see where is here. Yeah, I'm gonna cut to where close to where Launt is from here. So I'll see you when we get there. Okay, I'm back on my journey from the Sea Kai Cavern and right in front of Launt. So let's actually get going. As you can see the monsters are already here near Launt. Luckily the monsters in the main battle are very weak. So we don't have to deal with that much in terms of battling here. Okay, good. Oh, Hubert Mastered. Good. So, Hubert Mastered his current title, so let's get him on the next title. Let's see, uh, that would be you. Okay, so that can now be worked on. Do, 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 do. Let's deal with you. Ah, oh, like that. Take this. Ha. Huh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Now, there's a save point right in front of Launt. Now, let's head into Launt. Alright, we'll handle the 
monsters. You get everyone else inside. But I... Bailey, look out! My lord! <clears throat> They've got us trapped. I must protect. I have to. Okay. Thank you, Asbel. You helped save us all. It's hard to believe that a tiny girl like her could do all that. Please get her back to the manor, so she can get some rest. I'll take care of things around here. Okay. Now that was something. Now... Let's get going to uh, let's get to the law. I see. Make sure you tell Hubert how hard I fought. Okay. I see mom. She's waving to me from the other side of the river. Uh, don't go into the river. Can we plant flowers here, or is that something that uh, I guess not? Since she isn't. Uh, Sophie's not in her right mind state or whatever. She probably cannot do that. It's high quest either. Anyway, let's head to the manor. Oh, they haven't fixed the well yet. Asbel, Hubert, I'm so glad you're safe. You've been gone for so long. I was worried I might never see you again. I'm sorry for the concern, Mom. We'll explain everything later. Frederick, could you please get a room ready? Sophie needs to rest. Your own room is already prepared, Master Asbel. Would that be acceptable? It's fine. Thank you, Frederick. Okay, let's head into Asbel's room to give Sophie some time to rest. Do, 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 do. Let's first figure out if there's any requests we can hand in. Oh, okay. We can hand in this one. Okay, the music box is still available. I see Asbel mastered stuff. So let's get that on to his next one. Oh, this one. Expert scrubber. Yeah, let's get that one going. What does that teach me, anyway? Um, okay. Let's see, nothing new. How much longer until uh, Malak brews his tail? Uh, hmm, soon. Okay, he's going to master it soon. Okay, so let's find... Let's see, where is Asbel's room? I think it was on the second floor, if memory serves me right. So let's get into Asbel's room. Run, everyone. She's having nightmares. Even in her dreams, she tries to protect us. Makes me feel kind of lame. Come in. I apologize for intruding at such a time, young masters. Bailey is downstairs and wishes to speak with you right away. I asked him to wait in the study for now. Should I send him away? Hmm. No, that's fine. We'll be right down. Keep an eye on Sophie, all right? We'll be right back.
I swore long ago that I would be the one to protect everyone. But once again, Sophie was the one who saved us. It has been very difficult seeing Lant turned into a battleground once more. I try and I try, but what if I never find the strength to protect those most important to me? How much more must we endure before we reach the ideals we strive for? Okay, hopefully that was all heard and all because I just realized I did not turn off my mic. <laughs> hey, let's see what Billy wants. You and your companions saved the people of Launt. We are in your debt. I see that he is still here. And Asbel, you... You saved my life. Thank you. Any of us would have done the same. How is your friend doing? She's resting, but she's not feeling well. That poor girl. She's suffering for helping us. No, she's been in failing health for a while now. It's nothing new. But thank you for your concern. Will you stay in Launt? Unfortunately, no. We have pressing business elsewhere. We have to save Sophie. And Richard, too. I see. We have a long road ahead of us to make that happen. I trust you'll take care of things while we're gone. Asbel, perhaps I have misjudged you. Thanks, Bailey. If you'll excuse me, I'll be going now. Okay, but first I want to see what this guy has to say. <laughs> There's one thing I wanted to ask you. No, never mind. Now's not the time. Really? That's all you have to say? Let's see what, mom, let's see what his mom says. You heard about what your father and Archduke Cedric were discussing? Yeah, we did. I'm surprised you brought that up randomly. Anyway, let's... Let's see, there should be actually a cutscene in front of the manor. Let's first do that first. Wait, what? Oh. Okay, I've guaranteed the wrong thing, so let's go here. Dad. You're thinking. This worries me. His <laughs> thinking worries you? I'm thinking about our father, about how I rebelled against his authority, about how I left. I thought that becoming a knight was all I needed to protect the people I loved, but I was wrong. It wasn't enough. I wasn't ready to be the Lord of Launt. It was just a title they hung around my neck. What thoughts did dad have as he lived and died as the Lord of Launt? You're a lot like your father was. Uh, Mom? He spent all of his time worrying about us and wondering if he was doing the right thing. But he hid that concern behind a mask of strength and discipline. When the two of you left, he thought of almost nothing else. And he worried that his decisions, no matter how well-intentioned, had caused you both to suffer. It's hard to imagine him thinking like that. Feelings were never your father's strong suit. He was never able to express how much he loved you both, and it frustrated him to no end. I know the two of you are going through a lot right now. But what matters is that you keep trying to do what you believe is right. Your father used to say that. He raised you well, whether you realize it or not, and his spirit will help you in the dark days to come. Just remember, whatever path you take, I will always be here for you. And if your father were here, he would say the same. Mom, thank you. Hmm. That was nice. Uh, can we get out of here? Okay. 
Because I think there's like a cutscene right here or something. Or I'm misreading that. Hmm. Okay, I couldn't find what the cutscene my notes were talking about. Let's this kid back and do. Here. And... Okay. Let's just head back into the room. And maybe the cutscene talking about is a little bit later. Let's just head back to my room. Welcome back. Asbel. Sophie, wait. Don't get up. I'm okay. Hey, Sophie. I'm here. We'll heal you, Sophie. I promise. All right. Let's get back to Fendel and fix that heat ray cannon. Do you know the exact location, Pascal? Yep. We can take the road that leads from North Launt to Velenik. The cannon is just past Fendel Mountain Pass. Hang in there, Sophie. We're almost home. I will. Okay, so now we have that together. Let's head outside. And get to the courtyard. Do 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 over here. Oh, cutscene. Boys, wait. Please, take this with you. What is it? Just a little basket of goodies. I made all your old favorites, and there's enough for everyone. Oh. Oh my gosh, you're the best mom ever! You are too kind, Lady Carrie. Thanks, Mom. Take care of each other. And be careful. You too. We'll see you soon. Okay, now this was the cutscene I was talking about. So at first we need to find Lady Carrie because there's another cutscene around the inside. Glad you're both here. I want you to take this. What is this? It's your father's diary. His random diary? He kept a diary? I, I've always, always meant to show it to you someday. There were many things your father was never able to tell you. I thought it important that you know how he truly felt. Today I inform Sir Oswell's servant of my conditions of adopting Hubert. Huh? It is my foundest hope that Hubert grow up safe and healthily. That he not become a tool used for political gain. And that he receive the finest education that Sir Oswell can provide. I wish him to learn not only academics, but the art of combat as well. Hubert is a bright and tenuous boy who can accomplish great things under Sir Oswell's tutelage. You know Oswell is not very trustworthy. I want him to be proud of the man he will become. And above all else, I want him to avoid having to fight for my title. The very same fight that ruined my brother and I. Brother? Okay, where's his uncle? I'm worried that Asbel will think he when I worry what Asbel will think when he learns of this. He'll likely let me know about his displeasure 
as he never has been one to stand quietly to the side. Perhaps when he is older, he will understand the difficult decisions adults are often forced to make. In truth, I fear how he will react. I fear he may turn his back on his family and leave, just like my own brother did. Prince Richard is currently here guest of the manor. I must not let him become a victim of the struggle for the throne. For I know all too well the danger that type of struggle can do. Hmm. I am not usually a man of to beseech the heavens for aid. But if ever there was a time, it is now. Please, if anyone is listening... Watch over my sons and come keep them safe. I would gladly give all that I have, including my own life, to see this come to pass. Please, I beg you, with all my heart. Asbel left home and fled for the capital today. Okay. I've no choice but to trust in my sons and their potential. Yeah, I guess that's true. I must believe that Asbel and Hubert can bring hope back to Lont, and that no challenge will be too great for them to overcome. Be strong, my beloved sons. I believe in you. When your father was your age, your grandfather chose him to rule Lont instead of your uncle Alden. As Alden was the eldest son, the decision was quite a surprise. But your grandfather would not be swayed. Whoa. A fierce argument soon erupted between your father and Alan. Eventually, your uncle was banished from Lawn and he died without ever resolving his feelings. Oh, so he's gone. Your father blamed himself for this. And he was determined that to not walk the same path. That's why he made it no secret that Asbel was to inherit Lont. And also why he wanted Hubert to have access to the kinds of opportunities the Aswell family could provide. In truth, this decision haunted him even to the end. And he worried that he was trying too hard to repent for what happened to his with his brother. And that this may have caused you both to suffer needlessly. Dad. He just had to leave something like this behind. How am I supposed to keep hating him now? <laughs> I guess you have a point there. This is so like him. Why couldn't he have told us all this sooner? Why did it have to wait until he was dead? But you know, things actually looked uh, worked out like he had hoped. You and I were able to overcome any of our, difficult, our differences, right? And now we fight for not for not just for Lon's future, but for the future of the entire world. I hope you're still watching over us, Dad. I'm not that bright, so I'm sure I'll need your guidance in the future. And when I do, I hope. I hope you'll be there too. Oh, Asbel. Asbel. Okay. Now that little scene is over with, that gave some backstory. We are now, we can head to the cannon thing. Do 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 do. Okay, let's keep on going. Wait a second, what was that? Okay. Let's, I still feel surprised they did not fix the wishing well, the well thing. We are to actually ignore the turtles. So there is a skit right here. There was a rice omelet in the picnic basket Lady Carrie gave us. Why are you telling me this? Because it was your favorite dish when we were all still kids. I'm sure that's why your mother included it. Sheria, please. I don't particularly care for omelets. Okay, I'll toss it. What? N uh, no! Oh, well, maybe I'll just eat it then. That won't be necessary. I'll eat them. So you still like them? I do not, but I have nothing against them either. And how do you feel about Asbel? I have nothing against him. <laughs> I knew it. 
Okay. <laughs> Deep down, you just don't want to know how to express your feelings. Okay, so now we will talk to this turtle. Here's a provisional Vodic bound turtle's transport. And did I mention it's free? <laughs> He's giving it to us free. So let's do this. Moving out. Mm hmm. Let's get to Vodic. Okay, that was simple enough. Let's head in here. Actually, let's first actually check with the inn first. And then we will check with the inn here first to see if there's any requests that we need to fill out. Okay, that was mastered, so let's get that on to the next title. Okay. Let's get the other side quests done. Okay. See anything else I mastered after that? Okay, no. But anyway, we will actually be stopping here for this video. And then we will start heading to the cannon, the heat ray cannon next time. So, I'll see you all next time. Bye.